back to another episode of Nick's Morning Coffee. I'm Mr. King. Y'all know my partner, Joe Cool. What's going on? Yeah, I'm dragging in here today after, you know, we, we couldn't get the the, the hat trick of uh, those last three games. It mm. just seemed like the stuff that I wanted to talk about before after, you know, beating Cleveland mm. um, and then turn around and beat Boston. Yeah. And then now even with a chance to beat the Nets without KD, that, that just would have been sweet. You know, that mm. would have been... Uh, but it just didn't happen. But, you know, welcome back, everybody. You know, please like, comment, subscribe. We need y'all to hit that thumbs up button for us. Hit the notification bell if you want to know what time we on. What time is it? All right. So, uh, we got we got to touch on these. these. Well, let's touch on the other two first. The Cleveland and the Boston game. Um, what stood out to me in those games was the fight. You know, it was a fight. And, and it's, just, it's pleasant to see. Uh, you know, that the Knicks could win a game when the other team is still playing well. Like, yeah. you know, their stars play good. Donovan mm -hmm. them played good. Tatum and Brown them played good. So it's nice to get a win in that situation. Mm -hmm. um, in the Boston game, Brown missing them two free throws, that happens to everybody. So you can't say, well, because he missed them. That happens, that happens to the best of them. Yeah, that's, that's us too. Yeah, and everybody. How many free throws yeah. they missed? Yeah. So and, and it's, and that, those games also showed Randall and, and Brunson's leadership. Mm-hmm to keep the game under control and to, to play what I like to call that chess match. Yeah. You know, like I, I felt yesterday that three that uh, Grimes hit, that could have kept us going back and forth. Mm. And then I think that that three took the air out of it. But we'll get mm. back to that. But I, li I, like, what, I like what the Knicks was doing. Um, we're showing that we can compete. Like nobody can't deny that if we stay on this course, you know, nobody expecting us to win a championship. That's their business. But we could get into the playoffs and make some noise. But we got to get there. Yeah. If we focus for the whole 48 minutes, especially the five down the stretch, then, you know, the Knicks could do some damage. Yeah, and keep playing physical. Yeah. I know I'm always on Randall's case, but I was impressed for two games. And then I really seen it because he's using his dominant hand. Uh, he's playing the stars well. He's in their face. He's not backing down. Like, yeah, he shows the signs of it, for, but for those two games, that was false. So I ain't even mad at him. Yeah, he some, did some, uh, some silly mistakes because of our turnovers, you know, yeah. starting to haunt us with the passing in the air. Mm. But for the whole, yeah, for the whole part, they're engaged in the game. Because yeah. you seen where he was telling, which game was that, last game or whatever it was, where he was telling Grimes, shoot it, we need you to shoot it. Yeah, I want you to game. shoot it. Yeah. So... That, and, that, and that shows that shows his leadership. Mm -hmm. You know, he was mic'd up yesterday, and we hear him saying things of encouragement to the players because we know he'll get on them. Yeah. You know he'll do that. But there's probably stuff he do all the time. We just don't see it. Mm -hmm. You know, so he he he, he and Brunson got to include both of them. Um, whatever you get from RJ, I don't know. RJ, to me, he he brings that dominion, mm -hmm. but it ain't, it ain't producing on a regular basis. Yeah. You know, so... Um, it's like but, the loss of, like I said, the loss of swagger. Yeah, but I mean, quickly, quickly is making up for mm -hmm. RJ, but you still have to have that fourth guy. Yeah, you, know, you have a big three, and then the fourth guy you can't win without. So, um, IQ is definitely showing he belonged, and he also showing that he could be a, that he's a starter mm -hmm. because even when he was in our starting lineup when RJ was out, that really gave us a lot more balance. And we were a little, mm -hmm. we were a little smaller. Yeah, but having him and Grimes on the wings, you know, that was that was cool, and I like that. But the Knicks, you know, we we, we wanted that win last night, but um, just to fight back to beat Cleveland and Boston after that horrific games that we had prior to that, mm. with what four losses in a row, and it just we can't have that. We can't have no more three, four losses in a row. Yeah, no. It's like thirty games or so, mm. 29, 30, 30 something, get thirty games to go, pretty much. So we we gotta win it or, or take it right now. Yeah. Because when it come down to the end, teams are just bumping each other off. But, you know, we made a stand. You know, you know, we, we, we drew a line in the sand, and now the Knicks shouldn't go nowhere but up. And though they want the trades, listen, it's almost like I feel like we rolling deep. Because even still, when you show Obi, I don't know where you're going to get to it, but you're going to show Obi Toppin. When he get hit a little bit of minutes, he's showing that he can do what he can do. Oh, well, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, Grimes, Jericho Sims. Uh, so it's like next man up mentality. So every even though people want trades, you got to make sure these trades are gonna be better than what you already playing. Yeah, we don't want we don't want to go we don't want a lateral move because yeah. the people that again we talked about this last week, the people that we are talking about trading are guys that don't even play. Mm. So when you bring in back something, 
you know, where does it, where, where does it help you? I know, um, um, on the real GM wide tap, they talked about when the Knicks had made the offer to Toronto, um, for several first round picks for, for OG Ananobi. Mm -hmm. See that, that's something you can bring him in. You can plug him in, Yeah. you know, either, either RJ got to sit or he slide down, but that's a guy, mm. you know, I, I, I actually feel RJ should be in that trade. Send mm. RJ back home to Toronto if you're gonna for a guy like that. Yeah. You know his upside may not have been as big as RJ's, but we we could use we could use a guy like that because he plays both sides of the ball. Um, plus, when you're talking about our draft picks that we got, it's just, it's just kind of when you look at Donovan Mitchell, we held on to our draft picks and we held on to our young players. Nobody wanted Grimes gone at the time, but you look at Donovan Mitchell coming to the East. And now being an all star, mm. it just sometimes you sit back and then now you you scratch your head a little bit. Um, you had to give up a lot to get Donovan, but you know looking back, the return now might have been worth it. it. As much as I love Grimes, and I still love Grimes because when we played Cleveland, uh, I mean Grimes to me did a fairly decent job guarding mm. um, Donovan Mitchell, even though Donovan was just having his way. But you know, same just like with Tatum. Grimes was making you pull out all your moves. Yeah. You know, you wasn't just coming down there and just pulling it and getting it. Mm. But you look at how when they're playing each other, why aren't we, if we say, okay, we're going to keep Grimes, why aren't we featuring him more? Right. Because you see, he he got two things going for him is that he he got the quick jumper, which sometimes don't have to be so fast. Mm. You know, like the, the rush one last night. That could have, you could have got that shot. Um and then you have, as soon as he get, he takes off on the baseline. That seems to be unstoppable. Mm -hmm. And it was working better for him when there was a cutter after he hit the baseline. Right. So so he's showing that he can get the ball 20, 30 times if you wanted him to, mm -hmm. and he could produce with it. Because he will drop that off and dime somebody. But he has a, a ray, you know, an array of moves, an assortment of moves that he can go to if we decide to make him a featured part of the offense. So until we do that, we're never going to really see the, you know, the true value of that non-trade. Let's put it that way. Yeah, but maybe it's what we was talking about uh, a couple of shows ago when, uh, you know, we was worried about why Cam Reddish is not getting no playing time. And I mm -hmm. think somebody made the example that you can have three dominant players with the ball in their hand. Somebody's going to have to just not do it or maybe even sit. So mm -hmm. say if that was drastic, maybe RJ's touch has got to probably be lesser just so Grimes can get more of those touches. Yeah. Maybe that's probably what the issue is. Because it looks like when they're doing well, everything looks like it's in a good flow. But maybe Grimes touches mommy probably has to be a little bit more than what RJ's doing. Yeah, yeah, because they, ha yeah, they have to be featured. Like, mm -hmm. RJ gets featured. And that's, that's a big difference when somebody, went, again, we talk about how I always used to bring up Bernard King or Allen Houston shooters. Mm -hmm. When you drive into the gym that day for the game, and you know you getting ten shots here and ten. You 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 walk in with a different type of swag mm -hmm. and confidence. And now it's just knocking the shot down because you know you get you know you getting it in your sweet spot, sweet spot. So when we get to the point where Grimes can get that, yeah, yeah, yeah. RJ. Some shots should come from RJ, but it needs to be something where in their game plan that this is what in these situations this is where Grimes is getting the ball. Yeah, and everybody really, should on the team should know Grimes is getting it. If it was up to me. I would just have I would I would try to set a random uh, Grimes to jack up maybe six threes in the beginning of the game to see who's hot. Yeah, if but if it was but, up to me, but, that would be but, in the game. But plan. put him in that put him in yeah. that situation. Cause when you're going up against Golden State, where you know they're going to do the same thing, and all these other teams yeah. are going to do, the, you might as well let Grimes get hot, like you said, yeah. knowing that. And, and he can strong. do that. He could probably do that the mm -hmm. way Clay do if he knows he's getting it. Because remember, Fournier said last year the difficult part for him was after he had that explosive game, mm. is that he knew in in uh, Orlando, he knew where 10 of his shots was coming from. Mm. It's just a different, as a shooter, it's just different. Mm. When you can come off a screen or slide over on a pin down or something and you know that shot, that ball going to be there, mm. and now it's easy to knock it down. It's routine. So but Even with Fournier, he had games where when he was doing real good, you didn't have to do nothing extra. All he did was shoot. Mm -hmm. It's like if that wasn't the signal right there, just to shoot. Yeah. And and that's all, Grimes, and that's all I think Grimes' fault is he can do multiple things. Uh -huh. He gets the ball and takes off. 
He can set players up for a shot. He can do more. But we need a shooting. Yeah, we yeah. just need a shooting. Same thing why we Which is unfortunate because now we can see that he can actually do more. Well, I and felt we just that already. Yeah. I think, remember last year, one of our shows, and I was saying how even if we had to plug him in as a backup point guard, mm. and then somebody had said back that, you know he can't handle that responsibility. He's never done it. He's done it in college. Mm. So Grimes can be your, he's, he's, he'd be more than a Swift Army Knight. Mm. Swift Army Knight for you. He'd be a guy that you could depend on every night, given a chance. You know, but then some other trades, too, um, they've been talking about, and it is also with uh, Toronto and Ananobi, his name pops up sometime, is Gary Trent Jr. Mm. Now, I don't see why they would want to give him away, but I think they just clutter at that position, mm. um, Toronto. But I would, I would also take Gary Trent Jr., too. Mm. Again, that's not... It's not a great move, but he's a guy that he's a real three and D. Mm. He's gonna shoot the three when it's available. Yeah, he was killing us. So. That's what he do. But <laughs> he, yeah, but even with them, they was on. Uh, they was they was losing a lot of games playing us, mm. and then also uh, Brooklyn had been losing a lot of games. That's why those those losses was was hurtful to me because if people are down, we don't let them get up against you. Yeah, you know, so let them stay down. But Gary Trent Jr. would be. Somebody that I would definitely consider. Um, Kyle Kuzma was on the radar, but he he, he signed that contract. Yeah. He's about to sign that big contract for them. Mm. I don't know if that's because they want to sign and trade him. Kuzma was somebody that would be nice. It's still a lateral move, but mm. at least he would probably be consistent. And then, of course, the one that's been talked about the most is Grayson Allen. And we touched on that yesterday. Yeah. That from yeah, Grayson, I, I like I like Grayson. Mm. Um, I like the feistiness about him. Mm. I like the fact that he would pull the trigger if he's open, um, and he would be gritty. But again, that that doesn't really make us better. Yeah, because yeah. last couple of games, I don't know, uh, forty eight out. I know he just had a baby, you know, so he's not there. But those little bit <laughs> he of wasn't minutes, playing anyway. <laughs> yeah, them little bit of minutes that I could say he was gonna get. Like, is that the minutes that he would get? So that's the whole problem with all these trades. It's like if you, if they're not gonna be coming off the bench or replacing the starter, mm -hmm. then it doesn't really matter. Like, if you're not getting somebody better than what we have, yeah. I feel like the trades, I think we're good where we at. You might as well let them mesh and gel and do what they're doing. Yeah, if you're going to ride it out, but we yeah, we wouldn't need a trade if we featured the other guys, mm. like we was talking about with Toronto. Um, their other guys, they know they're getting the ball. Right. They get a chance to do what they do. It's not on a whim. You know, mm. you know the guys is going to shoot the threes. You know, look at the, with the Nets yesterday. Guys just know that in this position, they want me to shoot it. Mm. So, you know, we can help ourselves just by doing that as a, as but it's, it should be as a coaching standpoint. You know, it should be one of those. I seen yesterday when, um, with Randall, uh, I, I thought Randall could have got it away when towards the end of the game, Jericho had the ball. He had nowhere to go. Mm. But Randall ran down to the post. So he pretty much just flipped it to him, but Jericho could have turned and made a shot. Yeah. You know, so that was no need for that. But those are things that should be worked out in those situations. But I I think the Knicks, if you're going to make a trade, though, it needs to be made now mm. so that that trade would have a chance to mesh. Yeah. And if you're going to stand pat, stand pat, but let's get more consistency out of RJ. Again, with our five minutes down the stretch. Mm. And then guys like, um, you know, Grimes and Obi. Let's let's try to let's let's fit them in, mm. not just let them be in, because that hot shooting night that Obi had a few nights ago, um, when he couldn't miss, I don't know why we didn't ride that. Yeah, yeah, we took him out when he was hot. Yeah, that's another one. Yeah, I don't he was like them, four, four or five from three. I don't want them to prematurely get rid of Obi. Just let him be a Nick. Like some of some of our players, it's like just let them be a Nick. Like even at this point, when I look at quickly, you know, I'm like up and down with quickly. First, mm -hmm. I'm like high on quickly, and then sometimes I'm low. Maybe because I'm like a person that you, when you see him, they got to get stronger. Yeah. Like you got to get faster. You got to get stronger. But quickly, you might as well let them stay Knicks. Yeah, you like got to keep, yeah. OB, yeah, IQ. Rhymes. Yeah. Let them stay Knicks. Now, unless you can get uh, Kevin Durant or LeBron James. Uh, well, LeBron, oh, now, nah, I don't want to be. <laughs> <laughs> but unless you can get somebody like that. Well, somebody put up, um, yesterday it was on Instagram, somebody put up, uh, DeMar DeRozan. Remember, I was never yeah. crazy about DeMar DeRozan, but I love him way more than I love Zach Levine mm. as far as consistency. And then the guy asked, what would you... I'm sorry, it was a female. I'm sorry. 
Uh, she asked, what would you give up for it? Mm -hmm. And I, I would give them two first rounders, not in the same year. Mm -hmm. um, I'd give them RJ and I'd give them Reddish and Fournier. Yeah. If that was the fights for the Rosen. Yeah. And and the Rosen could be considered also a lateral move, but mm -hmm. you know his he's gonna keep coming. Yeah. You know, and he has a go-to move down the stretch. So to me that would make us better. And I started thinking about that one. First I was gonna ask you, do you like that one? Yeah. All right. So if that, you like that. I like the Rosen, I'll take that. Yeah, you always did like the Rosen, but um so I was gonna ask you, do you like that one? Then um how do you think he would help us? Uh right now. Like you said, more consistency. He's going to play to his strength. You know, better defense. I don't know if he's going to get any more shots that RJ's getting. So that's my thing. Like, RJ can shoot the three. He's not consistent. But. Well, yeah, still, well, RJ gets a lot of shots. That's what I'm saying. He gets a lot yeah. of shots, but I'm, I'm saying he don't, they don't fall a lot. <laughs> right. So he can get RJ, he's he doing better get RJ now, but, shots. Mm. And. He would dip into Brunson's shot. And you're not punking DeRozan. Yeah. I mean, you don't punk RJ, but you really yeah. not punking DeRozan. Yeah. DeRozan going to look at you and bring a little bit more grit. Yeah. So now I want players with that mean streak, like how Morris was. But that's why, that's that's the only thing I said I do like about Grayson. It's almost like, like I would take him back, too. At this point. I mean, it would, I mean he, I don't he, know. Wouldn't hurt you, he wouldn't hurt yeah, you. He wouldn't hurt yeah, you, but, but I don't like, um, but that's the problem. Somebody got to not play and somebody got to move. Yeah. I haven't really wrapped my head around that because it's not like the Knicks is playing bad, but we just not, somebody's not standing out. Like, there's mm -hmm. nobody really, Brunson's playing great. He mm -hmm. stands out from time to time. Randall's was standing out the past couple of games. Yeah. And then RJ may stand out for two seconds. <laughs> yeah, well, Stephen A. did make the point last night. We don't, rarely do we agree with him. But he did say Kyrie let, let the Knicks know that the Knicks try to win by committee, that y'all don't have, we don't have that guy. Yeah, that's you know, the We problem. don't have... I was trying to be was going last night. I wasn't even mad at it because mm -hmm. on the, the the post game show with Stephen A. and all of them, they kept saying why didn't the Knicks double Kyrie all day, and I don't agree with that. Mm -hmm. They've been losing with Kyrie playing phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I would say just guard him the way you can guard him, let him go, yeah. and keep the other guys in check. I didn't, I didn't see the need now to come down to the stretch, maybe get the ball out of his hand. Yeah, but but he, I didn't see the need it's for the battle. That. Here's my thing: it's the battle of New York. It's the Knicks, Nets, Kyrie's day guy, Durant's hurt, uh, Randall's our guy. Y'all should have been combined for 74 like it was uh, Embiid and Jokic. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you should have went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kyrie, even if you're not guarding him or not. You should have played him how you played Jason Tatum. We need yeah. that consistency from a star yeah. every night. Play dominant. Like, uh, yesterday, even though we was ending out the game, I didn't really see that dominance that Randall showed yeah, the past two yeah, games. I didn't see that either. Past you know what I mean? I, I didn't, I didn't jump either. up. I didn't. And we was talking a lot, you know, like a pre-show yeah. nah, about I, the Knicks. I, but definitely, he definitely should have. I mean, the Nets are long, but they not. They don't have girth. Yeah. So he definitely should have been able to manhandle them um, in the post. Mm -hmm. Definitely should have been able. Because we watched a little bit of the Philly-Denver game mm -hmm. where we watched them throw it in the NB. And then B just throw it back out for the guy to get a three. Simple basketball. Yeah. But Randall should have been able to use his. And he, did it, he did it at times. Like I said, you play to your strength. So I know we were talking about when M B came down, maybe he stopped quick and shot a three. Uh -huh. It's not the prettiest looking three point shot in the world. I remember you mentioned like why doesn't uh, Mitchell Robinson <laughs> like you right there wide yeah. open. Yeah. Like just let him try it. You know what I mean? We gotta do something different to this new style of basketball. This is literally yeah. positionless basketball at the point at the yeah. moment right now. Like this is where the NBA is going. There's no more even in the All Star game. There's no more center point guard. Well, that's, everybody's yeah. doing it. Well that yeah, because that's the whole thing about they did put the center back in with the three bigs. Cause at one point they took that out. Mm. Because they want the All Star game to be faster and more entertaining. Mm. But when you got big guys like Embiid and Jokic who could do who could do other things. Mm. Yeah, you got you had to put Car it back Anthony in there. Towns. Yeah, uh, because even with um, I look at the East when we talk about Randall and Brunson making the All Star team. I, I say Randall has the better shot only because he has less competition to do. Uh, he got to maybe okay. We know Embiid it didn't make the the three big men, so he's the next. He was the next one with the most votes. Mm. So you know the coaches are voting him in. And then um, uh, what's what, uh, Siakam. Mm. He he has the same kind of year as Randall. He just a little bit a little bit more consistent. Um, what's the one in uh, the two in Miami, Butler and 
What's their center? Uh, I forgot. Yeah, so they they could probably they could possibly get some mm. some looks. So Randall Randall, depending on how many bigs they they take, mm. Randall still has a great shot of making yeah. the of making All Star game. But then you get into Brunson. There's a whole lot of guards that he may or may not. Now that one's more on the fence. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but again, it, it'd be nice to me. I think it would mean more if Randall got in right now than I think it would mean for. Mm. For Brunson, if we want to try to get this playoff push, um, I think Randall could use that. It wouldn't be motivation if he didn't get in. Mm. But I think if he got in, he could bring that back. You know, when you be around all those other stars, right. you tend to bring that type of thing back, you know, and show appreciation. Mm. So, uh, we on pace with 31 games to go. What do we got, 27 wins? Could we get Could we get to 47 wins? You know, I, I was hoping that we could have got to 50, but that's that. We won't stay consistent enough, mm. you know, without a, without a real big trade. But you know, could we get to forty seven wins and hold down yeah, um, that six spot? That's only ten more games. Mm. Well, we should be able to get, we should be able to get to forty seven. But getting to fifty would be a nice, you know, thing in the season. Mm. So we're gonna see what happened with that. You know, I don't, I don't, I never really voted in the All Star games, but if y'all vote, you know, vote for our boys. All right, this segment, Joey, we're gonna we're gonna do every week. We're gonna add one player from the Knicks. To mm. do a player profile, so I thought the first one we're gonna do is uh, Quentin Grimes. Okay. So, um, so we know Quentin Grimes is a he's our shooting guard, 6'4", 210 pounds. So he he plays thirty two point nine minutes a game. Mm. That's pretty good for him. Uh, he's he's scoring ten point three, even though sometimes it seems like he's not scoring at all. Mm -hmm. You know, because his thing is up and down. So he easily could be. Um, a 15 to 20 point score. Right. But a lot of those fast jump shots, those are his strength, but sometimes they're killing him when he misses. The shooting percentage is 44.6. His three point shooting percentage is 36.1. Mm -hmm. See that need that should be up more. Right. Because you're 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 our sniper now. So mm -hmm. you should have a higher three point shooting rate percentage. I know right? people love Novak, but he can't fall into that Novak. Yeah, yeah, that's all Novak did, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh his re he rebounds 3.4. Assist 2.1. We know he could do more assists, mm. especially when he's driving and the other team is and our team is trailing him to the basket. Um his three throw his free throw percentage is 81, which that's great. He don't get to the line that often. Point four blocks, point seven steals. I thought he I thought he I think he had more deflections than he do steals. Yeah. You know, and then he only have one point one turnovers. So that's good for him. But a lot of those can be doubled in mm. terms of, you know, the points and assists and the rebounds if we featured him a little bit more. Right. You know, so I said this earlier, you know, are we doing enough to offset the Donovan Mitchell trade that didn't happen mm. with Grimes? And, you know, we put him in the starting lineup, but the answer is no. Now, he has a role to guard the best player, the best perimeter player on the other team. Mm. And he's been, he's been doing that fairly well. Because mm. even, even if they do get theirs, he's there. Right. You know, and if we was to break down the film um, of the times that they don't get it mm. when he's guarding them, it would be way more than the points they got. Yeah. So he's doing, to me, he's doing an excellent job there. And then, too, this is your first time really having that responsibility. So mm. next year, coming back, knowing all these players' tendencies, it's going to be really hard for guys probably to score on them. Because yeah, now he's going to know what you do. And his role should be increased. Yeah. If he's not going to get traded yeah. and he's going to play, he's going to stay in Nick. Yeah. I think his role needs to be a little bit more than what he's doing now. And, but he got to make his shots. Well, he's, he he's gotta, out, he, yeah. He got to hit them critical threes. Like, yeah, like I said, when we up six or we up 10 and you hit a three, cool. You're putting the game away. But then when we down 10, you got to hit those. Every one. Yeah. Got to hit every one. Yeah, and, and call for the ball because... He, to me, he's, he's performing better than his contract, which is still his rookie contract. Mm. So just by a little bit more features and a little bit more go to him in certain aspects of our game, mm. even if Randall got it, the way Randall looked for Fournier, mm. let's look for Grimes that way. Yeah. You know, um, so I, I like that. So I like I like what Grimes is doing. Um, I like what he brings to our team. Mm. And he, I know he's just waiting for his time. Yeah. You could tell. He, he knows, he knows he doing, what he got. He's he doing what he's supposed to do. Yeah, I'm he, not he really know. mad at yeah. how he's playing, what he's doing. Like I said, he just got to 
make more of those threes. Well, he dunked on somebody. Even if he got to train with Allen Houston just to make sure it's fine tuned. Yeah, he trains with Penny in the offseason, but Penny wasn't a shooter like that. Yeah, no. Nah, yeah, he needs to train. To. He needs to train. Not to say he's not, but it'd be nice if he did train with a shooter. Yeah, just go shot for shot with yeah. Allen Houston. I know he probably still got Oh, he can go shot for shot with me. Well, Allen, yeah, yeah, go man, shot for shot with me. Allen still got it because <laughs> I saw a clip of him the other day. He got a, a thing in his house, mm. and he was just knocking them down with, with house slippers on mm. like it ain't nothing. But Grimes did a dunk, was it yesterday or the, or the Boston game? Went to the hole, and he didn't dunk on the guy, but it was the way he, oh, he yeah, knew he, he, didn't, he, knew he didn't have to pass yeah. it. So I like that. Mm. You know, I, I, you know, get out in the open floor, and then you do your thing. Mm. All right, so that was just um, a little bit on Grimes. Every week we're going to touch on one player to profile. But before we go, I did want to bring up this thing with um, – Isaiah Hartenstein, well, we because you keep we kept talking about oh, what he oh, yeah. what he's not doing mm -hmm. and and we know what Tibbs won his guys at so he put up something the other day he put something up um, about how he feels he's letting his teammates down mm -hmm. and he's letting the fans of New York down because I'm not playing the way I know how to play mm -hmm. so and I and I took that for he's not really given the opportunity because mm -hmm. you seen yesterday. Yeah, he was certain certain good. things he did, he forced, he made he made both of them, mm -hmm. but he forced the shots to the basket. Yeah, he didn't just get it and give it up where they would normally hand it off. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what he mean by he's letting them down. Mm -hmm. Nobody's not, nobody's probably not telling him not to do those things. Yeah, but when you look at how they're treating Mitch, he probably feels like he shouldn't do those things. Mm -hmm. So the fact that he acknowledged it, um, put out a big spread on that shows that he is aware, and it was also talk that the Clippers wanted him back. Mm. So, yeah, know, we I don't want to lose like, him. Yeah, I don't feel like he's a bad player. What I feel like is in Tibbs' system, uh -huh. I know we brung up Serge Ibaka. And I'm like, maybe a big man that plays like a big man mm -hmm. probably just fits better in our system because Mitch dominates in the system. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He grabs the rebound. He's dunking it with force. Yeah, he's putting everything back up. Rotations. Yeah, I'm thinking the score when I get the ball. I'm uh -huh. a hungry big man. Feed the big man. Kind of big man. So I think maybe that's what we need to fill that spot. Jericho Sims is good, but he's almost like kind of undersized. Yeah. Maybe we need somebody that not tolerating nothing in the paint. Yeah. For us to succeed. Yeah, Jericho. I think too. Once he if once he understands, you know, rotating to the weak side, things like that, he'll be better because he mm. he wants to block every shot. But you're looking at, and he know. don't show no emotion. Like he's not. Yeah. He's not confrontational. I kind of yeah. like the big man to be confrontational. Like you. You down there, even if you wasn't the big man. If mm -hmm. I was the center for two seconds, put a body on spread somebody. Your, spread your wings. Yeah. yeah. So that's it. So Hartenstein, he's aware. And I think now, going forward, I think he's going to try to, you know, and if it got out there that the Clippers do want him back, that'll make you feel good. Then you'll remember, you'll remember your value. But, but the Knicks, though, we have to understand for us, when we trade, draft, or even get somebody – we have to bring them in to do for the reason that we went out to do to get them. Mm -hmm. like, we don't do that. We don't we don't say this person is a killer doing this, mm -hmm. and then we don't bring that person in to do that. And that's yeah. what the Knicks. That's the only thing we've been doing wrong for years mm -hmm. that I like to see us improve on. If yeah. you know a guy's good at something, same thing with Fournier. You went out to get Fournier for a reason. Mm -hmm. That was a great pickup at the time. And was killing us. Yeah, at the time Shooting. it was a great pickup, but we didn't use it. Mm -hmm. We didn't use it at that. All right, so um, maybe we got to change. I don't know if we got an offensive coordinator like they would do <laughs> football, but maybe that, if it's the same guy for years, we might have to change him. Yeah, you might have to do something. All right, folks, uh, you know, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Um, We're coming to y'all weekly. We're still going to try to get to where we can do our lives. Mm -hmm. We want to be able to talk to y'all back and forth um, in real time. But until next time, hit that support like button. Peace. Peace.